Hi there, everybody. I'm Miranda Alt with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and the Miranda Alt team with your Wisdom Wednesday. I haven't done Wisdom Wednesdays in a little while here. It got to be a little too much for me, but um, I had a couple weeks ago, a couple people asking if I was going to be doing them again. And then I was on the phone with my friend Brady Coleman here, who told me about some information that I thought was so important that people know. So I wanted to come back on and we're going to start doing Wisdom Wednesdays again. And my first guest for my Wisdom Wednesday today is Brady Coleman of Coleman. Coleman's Contracting. Thank you so much for joining me, Brady. Hi, Miranda. Thank you for having me. Yes. So Brady and I were talking um, yesterday or maybe a couple of days ago about, um, about re um, restoration projects. And when someone has storm damage or they have any sort of an insurance claim and they call, you know, various contractors, especially those storm chasers that come around to your house after a storm and they're knocking on the door saying, do you need a new roof? We can help you. Um, and we were talking a little bit about that. And Brady had told me about a really crazy thing that I did not realize was that a lot of times if you need your siding replaced, if you have aluminum siding and Brady told me about how he can actually get people hardy board, which would be such a nice upgrade. So Brady, tell us a little bit about what it is that your company does that's different. So I am primarily a restoration contractor uh, rather than focusing on traveling around chasing storms, right? So I'm also an Illinois uh, public adjuster, insurance adjuster. So I'm I'm qualified to uh, work insurance claims with insurance companies and process uh, restoration projects appropriately. Um, but I think what makes me different is that I am a small operation and I care about each and every customer that I take on. Um, it's more about quality over quantity with me. Um, I'm not I'm not trying to do 500 jobs a year. I'm just trying to take care of the customers right here in our backyard in McHenry County. Well, and one of the things that you said just now is that you're a licensed adjuster. And one of the things that I've noticed with my clients is they might call a big shop. Like, I don't want to name any names, but they might call one of the big contractors around here. And those contractors don't want to work with the insurance companies and they don't speak the language. And when you are trying to get your roof replaced or your siding, it's really important to have a contractor who speaks the language of the insurance companies. Because if you yeah, know how to speak that language, you can get a lot more money for your replacements and, and you're paying for it. Right. And everybody wants to trust their insurance company. And, you know, we all, we all believe that, that we should be able to, right. And we have a, an insurance adjuster come out to assess the damages, but the truth is they have a, a built into their company to minimize their loss. Right. So uh, nobody wants to give up, give up money. Um, so it's, it's become really the insurance companies have created this storm chasing industry because they're, they don't pay claims the way that they should. Right. So, um, they've created a need for public adjusters and for contractors who are, who are really into hustling and, and, you know, beefing up those insurance companies. and people have just taken advantage of it, you know, like every system people have taken, take advantage of it. So, um, Unfortunately, that's true. it's important to find yeah, it's just important to find a ethical contractor, which there are many out there. I'm not I'm definitely not the only one in town. Um, but you know, you want you want somebody representing you who is capable and knowledgeable enough to get you the money that you deserve in order to bring your home back to the quality that it was before the storm, if not better, right? And one of the things you said is that if you have aluminum siding you can actually upgrade that. So tell me how that works. Cause I was saying, well, why wouldn't everybody do that? Don't, don't um, the insurance companies get more money if they sell you a better product. Right. So it's really uh, just valuation and cost. Uh, aluminum siding has at the time, I think it was, it was a good product um, when it was really being installed and in the most popular product 20 plus years ago. Um, nowadays, that's not the case because technology and, and material costs have changed. And now vinyl has become the popular cheapest product to throw on your house. But um, with aluminum, because the product availability and the cost of materials is so high, it has become extremely valuable. So when we get a, all four sides of a house covered with aluminum siding uh, from a, a storm loss, like hail damage, mm -hmm. then 
we can actually go back with a product like Hardy Board because the insurance is paying enough money. As long as you invoice them properly and you understand how to make the insurance company pay appropriately, then they're paying enough money to actually go back with Hardy Board. And I've done that with wow. numerous customers. And what about if you have vinyl siding? Do you have to stick with the vinyl or cedar? What about those? Yeah, so it's really just valuation. If you got if you have vinyl siding that's damaged from storm uh, storm related causes, then um, you're most likely only going to get enough money to go back with vinyl, right? But if you have cedar siding, it's gonna it's gonna take some like very serious hail damage to damage cedar siding appropriately wow. enough to yeah to cause replacement. <laughs> I was hoping you were gonna be like, yeah, we'll get you hardy, but I'm like, yes, come on, big yeah. storm. No, we. We did a lot of jobs actually out in the North shore area um, where the hail damage was severe enough where we replaced the cedar siding completely in its entirety on the entire house. So wow. it does happen. It just requires like four inch hail, which is, which is really big hail. So I got to pray for a really big storm. Right. <laughs> if that's what you're looking for. No, I'll just pay for it. But I will say, you know, one of the other things that I've run into with people, just, you know, friends that I know that have had insurance claims, if they don't get somebody out there that properly knows to speak the language with the, um, with the adjusters, one of the things that will happen, especially with like hardwood, if you have like, um, a, if you have a flood in your house and your hardwood gets damaged, a lot of times the insurance company wants to just pay for the wood that was damaged. They don't want to pay for you to get matching. And I know with mine, um, when I I had a damage done at my house a long time ago. Um, I had a guy that came out and he did speak the language and he was able to get me all hardwood, new hardwood floors. Cause he said, you're not going to be able to match the, the oak. Cause my oak was so old. And he said, if you put new oak in here, it's not going to match. And I wouldn't have known to argue for that at all. I would have been like, okay, fix the broken ones. And that's it. Right. Yeah. And the truth is when you sand the hardwood floors down to refinish them, you lose thickness and uh, it's not as it's not as thick and it's not as good as it was before the loss. So, and plus you're usually going to have gaps between the wood after the wood has been aged like that. So um, really you end up having to replace it if you're going to actually be fully indemnified uh, from your insurance company. Right. So there are a lot of things like that where the insurance company comes in and they give you repairs which are, they seem good enough at the time because you don't really want to turn in this like small repair into a huge project in your home and end up being displaced and it's an inconvenience. But the truth is uh, the project is usually much bigger than what the insurance company originally writes for. And unless you've been through that before, you're not going to know that, you know? Right. And would you say that there are some insurance companies that are easier to work with than others? Like if somebody was saying, Hey, Brady, what's the best insurance company, the easiest to work with to get my claim paid? What, what would you say? You know, usually the smaller the company, the easier they are to deal with because they don't have as many uh, corporate structures built in to minimize your, your losses. Right. Um, but there's only one company that I would say, run away from. And obviously it's the biggest company on the block, which would be State Farm. Um, they are absolutely the worst. That's and a new, lot of actually. Time, they used to be good, but they're not anymore. Right. I used to have them for my property, yeah. um, but I changed over once they started shutting everything down about three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but they're, uh, they're absolutely the worst. So there are some claims that I tell customers not even to file if they have State Farm because it'll take a year to get an approval. And even then you still might not get it. And I've heard Allstate is really difficult as well. Allstate can be difficult, but they honor, at the end of the day, they honor their policy and they honor their appraisal process. So oh. if we have to take them to appraisal, it's an additional cost, which you guys shouldn't have to pay. But- okay. If we have to take them to appraisal, at least we can win that way with Allstate. Um, but they are difficult. They're just not impossible like State Farm. Okay, great. Well, Brady, thank you so much for all of this information. I really appreciate you. I will be telling all of my clients uh, to call you if they have any uh, claims that they need to talk about and try and, and get covered by their insurance, which we pay for. You know, I mean, there's a reason we have the insurance. So, um, and if any of you out there are looking to talk with Brady about either an insurance claim or even just bathroom remodels, kitchen remodels, redoing floors, um, if you want to 
uh, finish a basement build out. Uh, Brady does all of those things and he's great. Um, also builds decks. Um, now is the time of year to build a deck. This is a busy season, right? It's a good time to get it yeah. all done. Brady is at 815-245-5395. Did I get that right? That's right. Okay. Or at www.colemans-contractors.com. Brady, thank you again. Thank you so much for your time today. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Have a great day, everybody.